What's up, everyone? I'm Toy Insanity. I bring the Fortnite Insanity on Fortnite Fridays with various Fortnite toys and the trading cards. I went for a full set of the trading card series. It took me about six weeks, but I do have right here in front of you a full set of the 300 Series 1 Panini 2019 Fortnite trading cards. This video is intended to be kind of a one-stop shop for all the information, anything you need to know about this series of trading cards. One through a hundred are the base cards. You probably already know this. There's screenshots of gameplay on the other side. And then there's the same repeating imagery on this side. There's a couple where they got the color wrong. Uh, this should be blue. Whatever. I mean, you're going to hear a few criticisms. I'm happy to have completed the set. It took six weeks and several hundred dollars. But at the end of the day, I definitely could have designed a better trading card series for Fortnite. So, I mean, that's the first criticism is just these repeating images. And they're super just boring who wanted these i mean it should have all been items characters you know skins maybe locations 95 to 100 are checklists 101 we begin with some weapons and some harvesting tools my second biggest criticism is i would have put all the items you know the med kits the clingers the harvesting tools and the weapons together Especially since they have a horizontal orientation, whereas all the skins have a vertical orientation. You know, to me, it would just look a lot better. 101, the burst assault rifle. 102, assault rifle. 103, hunting rifle. 104, submachine gun. 105, pistol. Pump shotgun. Tactical shotgun. Semi-automatic sniper rifle. Six shooter. Clinger. Axe Gordian, Drum Beat, Gatekeeper, Jack Spammer, Lamp with the Moth, Lead Swinger. These are all uncommon as far as the rarity. There's way too many levels of rarity. 117, we begin with Armadillo Skin, Hayseed, Brainiac, Bullseye, Bunny Moon. Prickly Patroller, Crimson Scout, Red Nose Ranger, Dominator, Garrison, Grill Sergeant, High Rise Assault Trooper, Sunflower, Light Show, Night Light, Nog Ops, Patch Patroller, Tinsel Toes. My next biggest criticism would be to put the male female pairings next to each other in the sequencing. Hayseed should be next to Sunflower. And there's dozens of other examples. Some would say the bigger criticism is the male-female pairings where the other person didn't even get included. And you probably, if, you're, if you play the game, you probably know more of those than I do. <sighs> but the one that comes to mind is, uh, you know, Burnout. Burnout's girls in here. Burnout's not in here. There's tons of examples. But look, here, here's the disruption I'm talking about. We're back into items. Dark Glimp. We're back into horizontal cards. Snow Squall. Scarlet Defender. Scorpion. Drum Gun. Sergeant Green Clover. Star Spangled Ranger. Star Spangled Trooper. Striped Soldier. I mean, his girl's all the way over there. The Med Kit. The Angular Axe. Exercise, Paddy Whacker, Whiplash, Whistle Warrior, Yuletide Ranger, 150, we're done with Uncommon, we're jumping to Rare, Absolute Zero, Bandolet, Earhart, Arctic Assassin, Backbone, Blue Squire, more items, Abominable Axe, Guiding Glow, Brilliant Striker, Bright Bomber, Chopper, Chromium, Cypher, 
Circuit Breaker, Codename ELF, Dark Bomber, Dazzle, Buccaneer, Diecast, Dynamo, First Strike Specialist, Fortune, Hyperion, Infiltrator, Insight, Jump Shot, Long Shot, Maki Master, Mass Fury, Maximilian, Mayhem, Midnight Ops, Moniker, Munitions Major, Radiant Striker, Firewalker, Fish Stick, Heartbreaker, Red Nose Raider, Reflex, Mesmer, Riot, Royal Knight, Ruckus, Sash Sergeant, Skull Ranger, Snorkel Ops, Sunbird, Sushi Master, and Triple Threat 200. We're now jumping to the next level of rarity. We're going from rare to epic. Now I do start to really like the set <laughs> beginning at 159 because there's no more there's no more the items, the horizontal cards mixed in. And yes, I'm aware these are technically in backwards. It's so I can read the name. I might switch to a different kind of album. The more typical trading card, nine card pages. So you can see the front. But even if I did that, it, you know, I think it would look better to me, myself, as a collector. But even in the video, I'd have to, I have to keep going like this to read the names on the backs. All right, we're up to 201. We got epics and legendaries now, and they're all skins. And the set is actually pretty cool. I learned of about, a, you know, I learned a lot of new characters, new skins, just because of this trading card series. I'm not even a gamer, don't play the game, but I collect all the toys. Check the Fortnite playlist, thumbs up the video. So you can see, I familiarize myself when the new toy lines come out and new figures are added to the toy line. So now, you know, a lot of examples here. It's like, I want toys now of Ruckus and Mesmer and Archetype because I never knew of them. Anyway, my dudes, 201, Abstract, Archetype, Beef Boss, Bright Gunner, Bunny Brawler, Caster, DJ Yonder, Dusk, Elmira, Fable, Far Out Man, Fireworks Team Leader, Flap Jackie, Ghoul Trooper, Giddy Up, Ginger Gunner, Growler, Hayman, Master Key, Heidi, Hollowhead, Mission Specialist, Moonwalker, Moth Mando, Nara, Plague, Redline, Rook, Rosa, Russ Lord, Sanctum, Ember, Peely, Shadow Ops. I was thinking, would it suck if I skipped a page? Skull Trooper, Sparkle Specialist, Spooky Team Leader, Stage Slayer, Sidewinder, Straw Ops, Sun Strider, Sun Tan Specialist, Synth Star, Tarot, Tender Defender, The Ace, Tomato Head, Funk Ops, Zoe, and Aerobic Assassin. We're now done with the Epics, and what we have left is the Legendaries. Other little sloppy things, like you can see they kind of sequence a lot of them alphabetically, not nearly all of them, even per rarity category, but it's like... Come on, we just went from Z to A, and this is still epic. So the first legendary outfit. And what was legendary? One per 24 packs? Or one per 12 pack, and then a four card, one per 24, and the regular six packs. Double that concerning the Dollar Tree three packs. I'm just excited. I finally got them all. Battle Hound. Black Knight, Calamity, Carbide, Chomp Senior, Crackshot. This was one of the last three that I needed to get. Hybrid, Cuddle Team Leader, Dark Vanguard, Dark Voyager, Deadfire, Dire, Drift, Enforcer, Blackheart, Fate, Flytrap, Frostbite, Havoc, Heim, Leviathan, 
Love Ranger, Matt, Magnus, Moisty Merman, Musha, Oblivion, Omega, Omen, Panda Team Leader, Power Cord, Ragnarok, Raptor, Ravage, Raven, Red Knight, Rex, Rose Team Leader, Shogun, Sky Stalker, Spider Knight, Aim, The Visitor, Tricera Ops, Valkyrie, Valor, Vertex, Arachne, Wildcard, Wukong, and Lux. That is three Hondo. Ah, like I said, foils are even rarer, one per 24 packs, and they're doing foils of all the cards, 101 to 300. I have not committed to a full, full set. Surely someone has, and that person, if they hit me up and made me an offer for all my foils, I have around 60 I probably just sell them. But check out round 17 to see some of my trade stock. If someone else offered me a bunch of foils that I don't already have for my rares, epics, and legendaries, etc., then I probably would quickly get on board to trying to be the first person to get a full foil set. But anyway, that's all I got for you. Thumbs up the video. Victory Royale. <sighs> I'm just happy. I'm happy it's done. I can't wait to see where they take Series 2. Hopefully the other male-female pairings. And that will be that. Toy Insanity, thanks again. Check out the Fortnite playlist. Thank you for spending these few minutes with me. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week.